For those of us that love the Andy Griffith Show, there's a group of background characters that play townsfolk. Like Mr. Swamp, Nice Dress Nelly, and Bert Mustin. But who we're talking about today is Tom Jacobs. The Andy Griffith Show got its starts from the Danny Thomas Show. Andy guest starred as a sheriff that pulls Danny Thomas over in a southern town. And once that was received, they ended up spinning off a separate series called The Andy Griffith Show. Now, Danny Thomas was born in Deerfield, Michigan, and he was one of ten children. Now, Danny Thomas's original name was Amos. And when Danny started performing, he took on and to pay homage to uh, two of his brothers, he named himself Danny Thomas. Now, Tom Jacobs, the brother of Danny's that we're going to talk about today, was in the background of a lot of the Danny Thomas produced and acted shows. He had uncredited roles on a lot of the Danny Thomas shows. Uh, he, he was also on Joey Bishop's show. He was on Make Room for Daddy. And he went on for his longest run to be on the uh, Andy Griffith show. Now, if you look at the cast member credits, uh, you'll see that uh, the main cast men members like Andy Griffith and, and Ron Howard, uh, Francis Bavier, um, the they are at the top of the list. They were in the majority of the episodes. But it's not too far down that you'll see Tom Jacobs, and and he is credited in 64 episodes of The Andy Griffith Show. There's not a whole lot known about Tom Jacobs uh, other than the fact that he was in a lot of the episodes of The Andy Griffith Show, and and he was Danny Thomas's brother. One thing I find kind of curious is uh, he is in a lot of the same episodes that nice dress Nelly is in and I don't know I've tried to figure out if there was some relationship there but I haven't been successful at figuring that out and we're going to take a look at a few of the episodes that Tom was in and there's so many of them it's kind of fun to actually watch the Andy Griffith show and find yourself looking for Tom Jacobs in the background so we'll take a look at these, and these are just a few of them. Um, and then we'll, at the end, take a look at, at what we know about his latter life after the Andy Griffith Show. This first episode is Aunt B on TV, and you can see him in the background. He's uh, oft, often in the, uh, in the crowd in Mayberry. And this is from uh, Goober Takes a Car Apart. He actually says something in this episode. He asked Andy uh, exactly uh, how did he do it, Sheriff. And here you can see him in the background walking across this, on the back side of the street there uh, in Otis Sues the County. This is a clip from Three Wishes for Opie. You can see he turns and looks at Helen and Andy. Now, this is a, a clip from Andy and Helen have their day. And he's uh, walking behind Goober and, and Barney. Now, here he is on, on an episode called The Rumor. He's once again in the crowd of people that, that burst into the house to surprise them. This is from A Deal is a Deal, where the boys are trying to sell him some miracle salve, uh, and he ends, it up, ends up slamming the door in their face. This is from the episode of My Fair Ernest T. Bass. And uh, he's also, you can see him right there over the shoulder of Andy, and he's also with Mr. Swamp right there. So this is from Barney and the Cave Rescue. 
you can see he's walking in with a shovel right now to uh, help in the rescue. And this is from Citizens Arrest. This is the crowd. You can see him in the background where uh, Barney is, is uh, talking to Gomer. Now, this is from a black day uh, for Mayberry. And he's actually selling trinkets here. Earlier in, there's a clip in, before this that it actually shows him with without anything on. I, he's just walking around, and in this one, he's he's got the uh, the trinkets he's selling. And this is Ernest T. Bass joins the army. See him kind of walking in the background. He's got a different hat on there. And this is the bank job where he confronts. Barney as he undresses after after dressing up like a woman. And this is from the pickle episode. You can see him at the very back back there, just casually walking across as as the judges are actually judging the pickles. Now, after the Andy Griffith show ended, we know that. Uh, Tom Jacobs moved away from L.A., I'm, and I'm not real sure when this happened, but he ended up dying in Lucerne, California, and that's kind of near Sacramento in the same general area of Sacramento. Now, if you look on Find a Grave, uh, you won't be able to find any of Tom Jacobs' uh, siblings or him, himself uh, listed as, as their graves actually being located. Uh, a lot of times that means that they were cremated. The one exception to that is Danny Thomas's grave, which is in Memphis, and that's because he founded St. Jude Children's Hospital, and he's buried on the grounds there. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I want to thank Tom Jacobs for adding to that incredible cast of characters that we love on The Andy Griffith Show.